Callum, we announced your new two-year extension earlier today. How pleased are you to re-sign? Yeah, delighted. Um, it's, it's a club which is obviously close to my heart. Been here four years now, so yeah, over the moon and uh, really looking forward to the future. How are you finding uh, playing under the new coaching regime? Yeah, really enjoying it. Uh, you can see from the from the stands, I'm sure, that we've got a real attacking freedom. Uh, we're looking to play, we're not just looking to kick like a lot, a lot of teams do. Um, so it suits my game down to the ground and uh, yeah, really enjoying it. What conversations did you have with Pat to convince you to stay? Uh, we just we just spoke and spoke about my ambitions as a player and obviously we know where the club's ambitions are um, and they tied hand in hand. So I spoke to Pat and said that I want to keep growing and he, he, he wanted to be part of that. Um, and I want to be part of the club, so it made sense, and uh, we're both really happy with it. No shying away from your ambition, you want to play for Bristol in the top flight? Oh yeah, 100%. Um, we want to be in a Champions Cup side, and I want to be a part of that Champions Cup side, so yeah, there's no, there's no shying away from that. How have you found working with <coughs> the likes of Billy and Mads this year? Yeah, brilliant. Uh, Mads is, is obviously a, an international, so to learn from him every day is fantastic, but also to learn from Billy, you know, uh, all three of us offer something different. Um, I've said it before, in, in pre-season we got on really well, and just learning every day from each other, I think, is, is, it can only be good for the team. Uh, we're driving each other on and, and it's a positive vibe. You've had to wait patiently for your first team opportunities this season, but sometimes that's how rugby works, isn't it? Yeah, um, I'm just trying to learn every day. I know it's a bit of a cliche, but uh, be patient and then when your chance comes, you've just got to be ready to take it, uh, whether it's A-League, whether it's a, a cup game, so you've just got to be ready to step in. And a really positive start to Bristol's season. I guess it's now about kicking on into November. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're, we're top of the league, so we're happy with that. Um, but a few, we haven't really put in an 80-minute performance yet. So it's something we speak about a lot about. Um, really, really nailing that down now up until Christmas, next block of games. So um, a big few games for us. And it's easy for, to forget that you're such a young man when you consider your memories at Bristol Rugby so far. Obviously, <laughs> you kicked 22 points in the playoff final in 2016. Presumably, that's a standout memory for you with your Bristol career so far. Yeah, of course. Um, I feel, feel old because it, <laughs> it was a few years ago. But yeah, like I say, I'm still young. Um, that was obviously a, a massive moment for me. But... I don't want to be known as, as that guy now. I, I want to be pushing on and make, make even better memories now moving forward.